First of all. All right, we are back for part two. Um, so we've just been playing Swan Shroud three, and it's midnight. And yep. yeah, yeah. All right, so we left off here with our wait. awesome cloudy yep. pink effect. Yeah. So of next, death. yeah. Next thing is you need to make a new layer. More layers. Wait, no, you don't need to do that. You no, need you don't. to. Oh, what was I talking about? I don't know. I don't. Sorry. Nobody does. I'm tired. I'm not paying attention. Do not do what I. Do not do what I just did. All right. Don't do so. it. So. All right. You have this. You should have this. Um, have it in this order. Have the background below the layer. Or it doesn't really matter. So, right click on the layer, and click on merge down. There you go. And there'll be one image. And it'll be uh, quite cool. So, and then you make a new layer. The layer will be the same size, and you'll need to fill it with transparency. Uh, you can call it particle one or something like that. It doesn't really matter. I just call it particle one because, well, you'll see later. Yes, I was just changing the lighting and now it looks really cool. It looks really dark as well. Ah, Our around. microphone is annoying. Yep. Is it broken? Yep. Alright, so. Audio's fine. But now, this is, here comes a kind of tricky part. Tricky? I wouldn't say really tricky, but sort of. Tricky. As long as you're paying attention, If basically. you're paying attention, you'll get it, right? So, we'll okay. we might have to recap on this. So. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, we've just done what we. If you if you haven't seen part one, you need to go and see part one. Otherwise, this will make no sense at all, and you will not know how to get this awesome pink cloudy effect unless you are a pro, watching this <laughs> for no reason. And whatsoever. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't make fun of Essex with the um, people <laughs> and um, call them at all. in the start. Well, no. no. All right. So now you need to select this brush. Brush. Uh, okay. This brush, brush, uh, goes to tool options. So amazing. Um, and now, you, I will show you how to make a new brush. Look at neck. See all those options. Look at all those brushes Jeez. that you have. All right. So, I'm going to guide you through how to make a new brush. Duh! It's a tutorial video. God. Yep. All right. So, you will need to make a. Uh, you just use a large brush, um, big, big, the brush. biggest brush you have, or available. Or I can, I will show you how to make a new brush. Yeah. So, first, you click on this new brush, which is brush editor. Edit this brush. No, you don't click on edit this brush. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm not very awake. I need some coffee. All right. Oh, do you want me to click on this. Create a new brush button. Button. You'll come up with this interface uh, where you can create your own brush. Oh, how exciting! Um, the audience. Make is. sure that you have the hardness, the, the radius, to whatever you want. I'm sorry. Are we designing boners here? <laughs> <laughs> Sash, the that radius to whatever you want, really. Um, you just want it nice and big. Yeah. Not too big because it'll be huge. Because then it'll look weird. It will just be huge, and um, it'll wipe out your whole thing. So, uh, all right, so job. you want um, pretty much this. Just look at this, and um, okay, uh, that's all you really need to do. Yeah. So uh, we now have a big, brush. big brush, even bigger brush. So you're, uh, I'll just delete this brush because it's my. Uh, Don't that pretend that one it never existed. Yeah, that one never existed. It didn't. So what, what brush? What? I don't, I don't know. Nobody knows. Alright, so you've created this new brush. Um, there. Um, you've created this new brush. You can change the brush, change the name. Oh I'll God. call it uh, Particle. Big brush boner. Brush. Boner. Sash is so inappropriate. Oh, God. Yep, so. Have fun. Jeez. You click on the size and make sure the size, it depends on... How Sorry, big. we're having audio problems. <laughs> so, it depends on how uh, sort of big. Sash, stop playing with the. I don't know. Walkie talkie. 
So it depends on if you want to have it like look really big and moldy, loads of um, textures. Stop saying random words like moldy textures. Um, so if you want it like this, I suggest. Lovely. Uh, if you want it, I've got a selection of them. I'll just quickly show you. He has two. Um, well, I I just found out. I have another one. Yeah. Um, so if you imagine these being slightly larger, it would make it look slightly larger and slightly less of these dots. It would make it look a bit sort of Bar like the image is smaller. It's more condensed. It's more cool. It's taking a picture of less particles, meaning it's just a picture of small, smaller. So if you're, I'll be going for a slightly big picture, like this, this sort of size. Uh, I suggest around about 50 to 100. I wouldn't go over 100 because it just looks kills you. Quite big. Big, ugly, smelly. Maybe I wouldn't really go over 150. But I'm sticking with around about this. One of biscuit. Yeah. About Sorry, this. I'm playing Doodle Jump. There you go. I'm not really. Just don't worry. Um, now. You have to uh, click on this dynamic, so you'll be creating a lot of di uh, new things. Who is that today? Um, so if you're if you are using like a, a I'm not. I'm using a mouse. If you're using a um, like a pad, a sort pad. of uh, mouse yeah. pad. No, like one of those. You yeah, know. laptop things. No, no, like um, you know, a, like those bamboo pen pad sort of thing. Um, you know, it's it's like well, you know, it's like crazy. It, no, I'm not. Uh, I think you are. It's like a designer pad. Um, Good for you. Yeah, and you'll be able to change what it all does. Um, so you need to. Uh, can you make it a bit lighter in here, please? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Right, that's better. My eyes are not straining anymore. Sash, stop playing with the lights. Adjusting them to our needs. Potatoes. So I'm back. I've kind of sorted out Sash here. No, um, I don't want it. So <clears throat> you have to click on this. Pasture quality. And you can. Uh, so if you weren't looking, you just click on this here. Um, you go to tool options. Make sure you have your brush selected. Make sure you're not done. Click on this sort of weird. Thing with an arrow, arrow and a few dotty. dots, yeah. It's like snakes and ladders all over yeah. again. Yeah. Um, <coughs> put that there. Uh, so you have to click on this one, uh, this button in the bottom right corner. It's uh, open the dynamic selection Ooh, panel, fancy. selection dialog. Selection. And then you have you come up with this paint dynamics. And this is all the things if you're. I was talking about if you're using one of those pads. pads that we don't care about. Yeah. Um, Can so we get to the point, please? Alright. So you need to click on this. Create a new dynamics. That really is good grammar. Create a new dyn. Click on this. Create a new dynamics. Is that is that a word? I, d I am a dynamics. So. Grammar approved. You click on this here, create new dynamics, and make uh, you have opacity. Well, this only this is only really if you have some. Sasha wants to have a biscuit. All right, you can have one. I know. I was planning to have one anyway. Um. So have opacity and size on random. So you'll have random opacity and size. And if this is only if you're using one of those pen pads, I can't remember the name. It's just gone out of my head. Stop, playing with, my playing, playing. Stop playing with my HDMI cable. Uh, uh, thank you. God, boxy boots. I know it's fun. Uh, have pressure with opacity if you're using one of those. I'm not personally. And you click. Uh, you have to make this. I don't know whatever you want. I'll just make it flip the whiz. Um, <coughs> and then use this. And you'll have random random sizes, random opacity, and it's gonna look quite cool. Is this um is this gonna take long? Because uh, you know these videos can only be fifteen minutes, and uh, it's been like twenty 
12 already. One second. Okay, we're back. Sorry, just checking the time. Alright, um. Oh, this biscuit's so nice. So, um, we were adding dots. So, particles. yeah, um, you'll oh, have. Picture. You oh. have this, and you'll have loads of these. It's it's quite cool to mess around with these, but it's a bit tired. It's, it's a bit boring. Boring, isn't it? So what you can do is you can turn on oh, some God. dithering. Um, if you not dithering, oh, jitter, again, jitter, Jesus. jitter. And what jittering does is if you're doing oh, this, look, it does that. Not if you didn't have jitter, it would just do. What is it the would, difference? It would just go in a straight line with jitter if you have a bit of it. Oh, that's cool. So I generally use about ten. That's a good amount. So, and if you just if you're just really lazy, you don't even have to press. You just have to do this. There you go. It's all done for you. But I don't like doing that. Um, so I have it at about this. So if I have a little bit of that and that fancy stuff. So basically this will just create a random effect and yes. um, you'll have your lovely... Yes. So recap, quick recap, uh, you have, you make your dynamics paint thing, i just delete this, and delete this one that I made earlier. Delete whore. <sighs> Alright, so recap, quickly. You have to click on this little weird eye icon. Click on this little weird icon in the uh, bottom right corner. Icon, for some reason I call it. Uh, and then, <sighs> Brendan, you're so stupid. Click on this. Uh, create a new dynamics. Uh huh. Grammar approved. Uh, <laughs> make sure opacity and size are under random. Um, that doesn't really matter. Make sure it's on mapping matrix. By your mapping name. matrix if you want to do that. Rename it and cl close that and it'll come up there. Untitled, you see. It's that. Um, so if you had this, it wouldn't... See, it doesn't do much. How do you change the... Oh. It's confetti. You just sort of... Alright, on second. Alright, uh, so, well, I've showed you how to make your own uh, dynamic, paint dynamics. Play with it, customise it. So, it's yeah, brilliant. and you can do lots of stuff with it, and it's very fun. Um, I think part three will get down to what you actually do. Another uh, part, she's sitting in our chair again. Yeah, so when you, you'll just um, have it, you just what am I talking about? I don't know. Um, so the uh, next part, part it, next part will be showing you how to do all of the particles and how to make it look, Amazing. how to make it look sort of like this gradient sort of thing Not crap going like on here. Doing right now. No. Oop, that's just a thumbnail that Sash showed me. You didn't see that at all. Hey. Oh, it's deleted. <laughs> Sorry. Um, good. What? That only took five minutes. Oh, it was good, yeah. It's a lot of time. Yep. So, uh, yeah, goodbye. Uh, we'll part see you later. three is probably coming in the morning. Not with me, probably. Ugh. I don't know. Have a nice day or night if you're in England and you're watching this at the exact time same time that we're recording it but you can't because we haven't uploaded it yet have a nice night or evening or day or lunch or whatever whatever time it is in your time zone goodbye bye